Gretchen Whitmer. Big Gretch. Big Gretch. And I'm going to make Angela a little jealous over here because I got a gift. I got to hold. Oh. I got to hold little she Gretch yesterday. Little so I get to hold this. Oh. That's oh. Yes. Oh. So the governor is very kind. Oh. He brought us a gift. Oh. This is the lip bar. It is a black-owned business. The CEO Melissa yeah. Butler, who's a friend yes. of uh, Angela and a Rattler and a Bam U Rattler, a member of Delta Sigma Theta. They say I give a lot of D9 love. Uh, but this is a, a wonderful the lip bar. We give you free advertisement, girl. The lip bar it's is our pleasure. Amazing. Yes, she has been so supportive to us. Governor, Thank governor. you. And, so and this color's called Big Grudge. I brought you. Ah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. See I see light. it. It's, it's beautiful. So thank you so much, Governor. We're so honored to, yeah. to have you with us. Um, you were uh, the talk of the town for a, a, a while when uh, the, all this conversation came. And I want to ask, because we have a very um, diverse audience listening tonight, and I, it's so significant to have Vice President Harris ascend to this level. There is some conversation about a divide among us as women. Um, you know, will uh, women who, you know, previously supported Trump. White women, Tiffany, just say it. Will white women consider. Thank you, Leonard. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> will white women who um, has previously not voted in their interest or perhaps voted in their interest, if we're honest about one, what some of their interest is. Um, will they consider this a victory for them as well, that a woman has ascended to this ticket? Not that you speak for all white women, <laughs> but let, let but me just, real quick disclaimer, I do not speak for all white women. <laughs> <laughs> Although we wish you did. This white, yes. woman, this white woman is so excited. My kids are excited. I'm here with my two daughters, they're 22 and 20 years old. And I remember driving to Philadelphia in the 2016 convention and my kids were in the backseat and I thought, Oh my God, these girls have only known eight years of a black president oh, yeah. and we're on the cusp of a woman president. Yeah. And these are two things I never could conceive of growing up in this country. Yeah. And obviously 2016 did not turn out the way I was hoping it would. Yeah. We're as excited, if not more, about Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. I mean, this is a huge, huge chapter in America. Leaders who, and yes, I'm excited because she's going to break the glass barrier, but I'm excited because she is the most qualified. Yeah. Right. She yeah. is strong. She yeah. is smart. That's right. She knows how to yeah. get shit done. That's and right. yeah. she is a type of person who's lived yeah. a life that we can relate to. Yeah. You know, yeah. she's a normal person. Right. She took care of her mom at the end of her life. She took yeah. care of her sister's kids at the end of theirs. She's going to deliver. And so I yeah. do think we can pull a lot of white women who maybe were on the sidelines or maybe went the other way thinking, Trump would make their lives better, and they they realize that's not the case, and yeah. right. we're going to pull people, more people into the fold right now. We're excited. We're feeling it. we got a lot of hard work to do. Yes. And in the state of Michigan, it is a dead heat right now, which is a vast improvement from where we were a month ago, but it's sobering when you think about how much work we got to do. Yeah. I, want, yes. I want to ask you, Governor, because I saw a poll today that said she had a, the vice president had a three-point lead on, on Trump in Michigan. What can she do to keep that momentum going and not fumble Michigan the way uh, Hillary Clinton did in 2016. Well, I mean, we're on mm. the ground in Michigan. I don't, I don't think anyone's going to yeah, no I'll, I'll get to that. No <laughs> one's going to take Michigan for granted. But, um, you know, doing that voter contact, it's so important. Yeah. We cannot write anyone yeah. off. We can't make any assumptions that people, okay, well, the black community is just going to show up because it's Kamala Harris. No, we got to do the work. We got to right. show up. We got to earn that's people's right. support. And that that's is right. true in every community. And so that's what we're doing. Yeah. I, I got a question for you and uh, Queen Maxine. You know, we know that a lot of Republicans probably won't certify the results of the election come November if it gets to the Supreme Court in light of a lot of their recent rulings I think they might overturn it if the vice president wins how concerned are y'all about are y'all about that I'm very concerned uh, that Trump has been able to put in place people in several states who are in charge of the election system yeah and that's real. And some of them are going to be turning people away. Uh, some are going to be finding they did not dot the I across the T. Right. All kind of little tricks. And so we've got to be on top of this. Not only do we have to have monitors, we have to anticipate. When we learn things are going on, we have to move very quickly to get our lawyers uh, uh, out there, you know, challenging. Because I think this is real. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. I, I, I want to, because uh, Charlamagne brought up a point about a, a fumble in Michigan. And I think it speaks right to the question about um, 
you know, will people accept election results that they don't like? You know firsthand, Governor, yeah. Yeah. about the dangers yeah. of fanatics and what I would call cult members who um, literally tried <sighs> to kidnap you. Thank God their plan was foiled. Yeah. But also in uh, 2016, the 75,000 votes out of Detroit that were discounted, as you know, um, Hillary Clinton uh, lost Michigan that year. Um, had she carried Michigan, she lost by 10,000 votes. Had she had those 75,000 votes out of Detroit been counted, she would have won Michigan and thus won the presidency. How concerned are you about the infrastructure of this country and voting, uh, voting rights and voter suppression uh, when it comes to November and it being a, a fair playing field? Well, I am concerned about it, but I want to make a couple important points. We know four years ago when Donald Trump lost to Joe Biden by 150,000 votes, yeah. a, a con landslide comparatively, yeah. um, he challenged the votes in Wayne County. Not the other 82 counties, but Wayne County, where Detroit is based, yeah. right? So we know the game that they want to play. I'll just share this. In 2022, I won re-election, and we flipped both the House and Senate. And in the wake of that, with just a one-seat majority in both chambers, we enhanced our election laws. We made it easier for people to participate. You can vote three weeks in advance in person. Yes, yes, no reason absentee. Yes. Greater penalties for people that mess with and threaten election workers. This, these are good strides we've made. All that being said, we got to get ready because yeah, as, as yeah, a congresswoman said, yeah, now one thing that I want to uh, yes. point out that I think should give us all you yes. know, some hope, not false hope, but some hope is in the most important swing states in the country. We got Tony Evers as the governor in Wisconsin. We got mm -hmm. Josh Shapiro in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. We got Katie Hobbs in mm -hmm. the Arizona. Mm -hmm. We got yeah. Roy Cooper mm -hmm. in North Carolina yeah. and me in Michigan. Yeah. We got Democrats mm -hmm. who are yeah. going to make sure these mm -hmm. votes are protected yeah. and counted. Yeah. It's still going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. If any of our opponents had been in the position we're in, yeah. I'd be a, a lot more worried. I agree yeah. with you, Governor. Yeah. And I think it, the beauty of it is is that we do have you there as hopefully a, a, fail, a fail safe. Yeah. My concern is, as you know, most of these elections are run municipally uh, at the county level that's right that's and you right you may have these conservative that's counties right. that that's may right. want to flaunt that's right you know the, the rule of law you've got great secretary of state yep. so on and so forth i'm i am having been in florida in 2000 come from uh the state where the, the u.s supreme chat. court weighed in hanging three chat. four yep. and said yeah. this is not precedent setting it will never be repeated <coughs> we have got to be on guard that's I right think we've got to let everybody raise the symbol before they ever do and i just want to say you have been an outstanding governor holding the banner <laughs> looking these yeah. terrorists straight in the face right. and mm. letting them know Thank to bring you. it. I'm Big Gretch. We yeah. love it. Big, <laughs> big, big Gretch got to go. Big Gretch got to go. The only people Big Gretch gets worried about making angry is my communication. Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Come to Michigan as we get closer to this election. We welcome you. Man, in. Man, we, 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 we would love to do that.